Yes, it's very good. <laughs> this is where I'm at right now. I'm just... See that ocean right there? I'm just right here on my spiritual date this morning. <laughs> I'm actually just... What can I say? Just truly... At this beautiful space. So today I, I'm going to do another 26 miles this morning. Uh, a car or again, shall I say. So I make it ha an, a habit of mine. I like to get up between 1.30 a.m. and 2.22. You know, like at uh, 3 o'clock. So 2.22, I love getting up at that time. So I usually start my day some push-ups, yoga. Then after that, I also do what I call the meditative reading where I sit cross-legged and always making sure I'm reading a beautiful beautiful spiritual book I've read a lot of books a lot of books <clears throat> to understand my own traditional belief system from I've read from the Quran the Bible the Torah I read all those books the Eastern philosophy the Bahaba Gita you name it I just wanted to just truly truly know who I am as an African so I decided to read all those books and I'm still reading the Egyptologist. And what that sort of did, it, it made me realize I don't know anything. So it leads to metaphysics and that metaphysics is what I do every day. But it still not compares to what a woman does, you know, when I get up and run. So after that, I like to sit down and meditate and just cross my legs again, deal with all the pain in my spine and come out and just look at this beautiful life so my day starting every day around 2 20 3 o'clock in the morning by 8 o'clock i'm full of joy and peace and i also have a, a, a what i call the writing meditation is where i truly truly write down my own feelings sit with my own emotions never be afraid of your emotions sit and write what comes into your head and what happened is after years of writing it down, that thing disappears and you take control of your own psyche. Because every single cell in your body, you know what's even so funny? I even ask myself, uh, uh, I write to myself, I write to my private brother, why are you, why are you horny? Come on, can you just stop being horny? I know she's a pretty girl. I write stuff like that because everything in me is God. And I know people are going to be like, yeah. I write to myself, yeah, why, why am I horny? You know, so, <laughs> you know, I said, control my libido. <laughs> Hold that boy. I share. I share.